I was just making up lyrics to the song. Uh, that's the Hong Kong Fuzz. Sadly, they're not around anymore. <laughs> they 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 broke they broke apart. And broke. Blue Steel Steve on the handheld camera was the drummer of the Hong Kong Fuzz. There he is. Don't no go over here. Oh, go right sorry. here. Right here. Now everybody can see you. There you are. Wave at everybody in the little deal thing there, right there. We could yeah, and you can see the boys on the couch, and it's good. Uh yeah, the Hong Kong fuss. I was making up lyrics. It was I'm fat. That was like the, the chorus part. <laughs> and we're gonna talk about being overweight tonight, right? What'd you say? I said I'm fat. I'm fat. <laughs> do 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 yeah, I eat too much. Oh yes, I'm fat. It was <laughs> it was something like that. I, but it is um and I don't think you, you wouldn't look at me and go, oh, he's fat. But for me, I'm definitely heavier than where I want to be. What are you at right now? Oh. No. Uh-oh. Don't tell? Zachy says I shouldn't tell. Why shouldn't I tell? Why not tell? Never mind. You can tell. Uh, just let me say this. Um, <laughs> well, la did we do the, the, uh, the thing we're doing, Steve, last year? Was it last year? Oh, uh, last year. Last year. I got on a scale at Costco and um, <laughs> this, I like where this is going. I was 190, 93 pounds oh. and I'm 5'11". So that's big for you. It's big for me. It's definitely big for mom. <laughs> mom was looking at me like it was time. But you know, uh, and if you, if you go by what the insurance um, charts say, a 5'11 male should weigh like 170. Maybe a little less. What? Really? Which I think is seems a little off. That right? seems a little low to me. But Am that's right? the, all no? their, you know, their the actuaries figure that stuff out, and that's their statistics, and it's and it's it's what they come up with. Are you and, talking you know, about like BMI and things like that, the measurement things? No, I'm just well, I'm just talking about a weight. Because according to all these like charts, like I'm severely overweight, man. <laughs> Wait, you're six three? Because I'm six five. So six it, five, and I you weigh what? Oh, do we really have to go there? Mm. <laughs> if we're all being honest, come on now. Okay, I'm like 230 something. You big fucking tub of lard. And I should be like, dude. So, okay. Remember so, when we, we had Vincent Jackson on the show, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Vincent Jackson is 6'5 also. We're like basically the same height. Right. I'm actually a little taller than Vincent Jackson. Let's put it out there. Right. Except he makes a lot more money. Than go me. ahead. That's right. Yes. Oh, we'll, um, just, we'll just put that out there. Yeah. Just um, for the record. But he's like, I think he's like 230 as well. Or 225. And by the way, I saw. Him, by the way, I saw saying. Vincent Jackson doing a uh, way over way. Uh, a a, a, a boxing punching kind of thing on the news a couple weeks ago. With local news? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I would. If I wasn't married, I would do Vincent Jackson. <laughs> Whoa My guy, there. you should have seen him. Whoa be. there! I can't. I can't. It is a bit of a man crush. I can't help it. He, he was all hot and sweaty and like the short sleeve, the like the tank top thing, and he's just. He's just a, he, he is what I will never be, but I am 100, at least uh, Friday when I got back from Vegas, Friday morning I got on the scale and I was 194. And oh. I shouldn't be 194. I'm 194. I'm an easy 20 pounds where, over where the insurance people say I am. So I, to this morning, I was 188.6. And that's from, from, eating nothing bad over the next I, I mean like three weeks ago this would have been all vodka it's now this much vodka and the rest is water okay wait yep uh, so jordan just said that he's 194 yeah. and he's, he's got like, four inches on I, you I'm so yeah right. you were a fat ass i am a fatty <laughs> <laughs> but you don't look at me and go oh the guy's a tub no 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 i hide it well what's the insurance for if you're six three so, I don't know. Somebody has to look that stuff up. But here's the thing. So, so I did this thing called Ideal Protein, and the and the concept is, it's intelligent eating with packaged foods based on a high protein diet system, but not the the Atkins protein diet where you can eat. 400 eggs and 68 pieces of bacon for breakfast it's not that right. but you're not allowed any sugars i mean any sugars carrots have more sugar than you're allowed on this program red peppers wow. tomatoes it cuts it all out 
Right. Right. So wow. Steve, Uncle Steve is on this. Is <laughs> went full force into this today, Steve. Started today. Started today, and we can't see you. Can we just? Uh, can we just hold on. Oh. Stay there. I got it. I got it. I got it. It won't Shoot turn. It. Here. It will now. There you go. Hold on. Let's just. Uh, I'll tell you when you're good. <laughs> This cam is so like hardcore, dude. Let's That's try. good. Okay. I'm trying to get the boys in there too. It's the action no, no, no. Cam. I know. It's the, the, the we we've lost a cam and it's not worth talking about and whatever. So Steve is doing this like a hundred percent, and I'm doing sort of a modified version. For breakfast, I had I had one of the ideal protein packaged food things. Lunch, I did it, but lunch, I had some sliced grilled chicken and a bunch of salad with no bad dressing on it, no ranch dressing, no... I made my own little Asian-y dressing, soy, olive oil, rice vinegar, sesame oil, that kind of stuff. Show them the picture of our dinners last night. Oh, I have that in my phone. <laughs> send it yeah, to our dinners... Like, hold on, let me just send this to Lynn. So anyways... What was it, Zach? So I'll, I'll show you. I mean, it's... It, it, Look, I know how I have to eat. That's the thing. I know how I have to eat, and the problem is I don't. I was talking about this Monday night. Every night in Vegas, Steve and I, every morning in Vegas, Steve and I had terrible food from the restaurant. I mean, delicious food, but not good for you. And we ate sort of as much as we can or could all day long. <laughs> I'm just going to put this out there. Steve's a bad influence on your diet. <laughs> uh, I, th I think he is. But you know what? I mean, so I'd like to get to the point where where um i where i can eat every so often or semi-regularly bad stuff i want to eat the foie gras i want a grilled cheese i want macaroni and cheese i oh. want a burger with all that stuff on it right uh -huh. mm -hmm. but i just cannot eat like that every single meal of the day that's the problem so what i'm making tonight is going to taste really good but it's going to be healthy for you because yeah. i care about me really but i care about you know what people eat and stuff healthy eating doesn't have to mean that it doesn't have any taste exactly Nakey cafe has no a, taste. a friend of what Nakey cafe it tastes like what is naked cafe it's in um, salon the beach it's a restaurant so you're dogging a restaurant now that says, oh, it's, you're talking about a restaurant that's his supposed to be point, good for his you. His point but is that it, there's a healthy restaurant that is not, I guess, the best flavor. Yeah, I think you can have flavor. Look, you know what? Uh, a friend of ours, uh, Brian Kim's wife, has uh, gestational diabetes. And they didn't know what things they could eat. And she wasn't a fan of a lot of things. And he emailed one day and said, any ideas? And I had them come over. And I made about six things one day while they were standing here. And they were all super healthy. They were all completely on track for what uh, Brooke could eat. And they involve things like vegetables that she hates. Hmm. But I don't think she'd had vegetables cooked in a decent way because she liked the stuff that I made for her. Yeah. And I made a bunch of stuff. She could do it. I sometimes feel like I could should write a book or something about this decent sort of way of eating for cuz I know look at it's it's we're past the middle of December and this is the time of year when you sit around and you look at your body in a mirror and you go <laughs> well what like what the fuck So this dinner that you sent me it looks it looks really good man Okay so look at there's two different there's oh, wow. Zaki on his side which is the left he had a salad cuz we like salads in this house uh, -huh. uh homemade uh mexican rice on the bottom mm. from some leftover rice that i had and he had um a steak which you know i could have that but i should be eating lean meat so on the right side is mine is a salad with my asian -y, uh salad dressing on it and um that steak that the, the ch uh, a chicken breast like i'm gonna do tonight was marinated in a little um chili sesame oil Ooh. so lots of flavor seasoned well but it's a it's a chicken breast i didn't even have a chicken thigh because i know a chicken thigh bad is here? bad for you why because it's, it's extra fat uh, oh. the dark meat chicken if you're gonna eat chicken light. chicken breast is the way to go right. okay sure right so the white meat is the healthy meat yes less fatty it, than, wait, the, than the dark so meat. is the dark meat unhealthy or is it just less healthy than the white meat? no the dark meat has has more fat around it in and around it uh-huh and, and is that in general you know equal portions an ounce of dark meat versus an ounce of the white breast meat the dark meat's gonna have more fat more calories in it. 
Okay, so is that why you prefer the dark meat because it's fattier? I think it has more taste. That's what I mean. Sorry, because right. it has exactly you think it right. has more taste. Because it has more taste. So you think that the fattiness brings out the taste in it? Absolutely. When right. I go, when I choose a steak, mm -hmm. I choose a ribeye. Yeah, you do. Because more fat in it means more flavor. And see, I'm just, I don't know why I'm not like that. I prefer just a fillet that has barely. And any a fat. fillet like Zach had last night would have been fine for me, but I felt like I needed to go with even less uh, fattiness, and I went with the chicken. I'm trying to be super good. Mm. No, I mean, really, what I need to do is get to a point where my weight is down, and I do this thing called the hell's it called? Oh, exercise. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that thing. I'm trying to stay away from that because I hate it. I know. You see people running. You ever seen somebody running on the street that looks happy? <laughs> that has a big. They don't smile look happy. The they look like this. <laughs> it's almost like the sex face they're making. <laughs> Which, except in the sex thing, that's a happy face. In the running on the street, that's not a happy face. It's bad. <laughs> Shit. I can't wait to see what Blake screenshots that face. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, so John Erickson on Facebook had a, a yeah. good question. This is what I'm kind of wondering. Are we ever going to outline that Asian dressing, like maybe on the website, something you can post? Because if we're going to, like, you yeah, know, I should. Eat this, this no, 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 no. I should do that. You know what? Let me try and. Uh, well, here's the deal. Next week, what's the next week? Monday's the 23rd, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know what next week, uh, what the 23rd starts, Lynn? Uh, what? Something around, I don't know, Chinese New Year? <laughs> something maybe, yes, Chinese fucking New Year, Chinese Lynn. Chinese New Year? Wait, it's like, I, you know, my mom's going to kill me for this. I don't actually like keep up with this stuff. <laughs> well, you, sh you should even pretend to for your mom. Yeah, she's right. I went to Ranch 99 the other day, though. I okay, that doesn't make you Chinese. <laughs> Asian yeah, dude, so did I, Because I go there, and I'm not Chinese. <laughs> Whatever, man. Whatever, dude. That's where the durian fruit came from. Oh, That's no, I where the saw durian a big fruit. box of that. So, was, so yeah. next week, I mean, I was going to do slightly more uh, Chinese happy Chinese food than, than dressing. But I will do the dressing. You know, for, for Christmas, um, I gave Steve a box of sort of miscellaneous Asian ingredients. And ponzu was one of them. And I've been making this dressing with, with ponzu, mm. that if you, do, you know, ponzu, little olive oil, maybe a little sesame oil, oh. and oh, that was good. little Ponzi's rice vinegar, right. that kind of thing. You could eat that all day long. You know, I'm gonna make a little dressing tonight. You don't have to, you don't have to buy that dressing off the shelf. Keep a few things at home and you can totally do that. You know what pisses me off? I get pissed off because we cover a lot of really decent food stuff on this show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you if all you do is run down the the pictures of the food that we've done in the past 90 whatever episodes. Mm -hmm. Looks amazing. We're doing an amazing job here. Absolutely. Oh jeez, I mean look at this. Well, that's not what I'm fucking eating tonight. That's oh, for sure. no, I have those as my screensaver, dude. Maybe we should go through it right now. Well, actually that's Haley. But <laughs> we don't eat that. We don't <laughs> That's, the, no, we that's don't the picture that comes up on my when my uh, when I turn my phone on. Oh, that's so nice, dude. Look at her. Thanksgiving Benedict. Oh, yeah, you know, my. Uh, that Thanksgiving Benedict God. is one of my favorites. Maybe this you is can't why get it like... from that picture, but the dressing layer on the bottom, all crispy. Ugh. Jambalaya. Jambalaya, dude. Oh, yeah, jambalaya. Shrimp, chicken, andouille sausage. We made a lot of food. Take a couple here, more. Oh, poutine. Pout that's my poutine. Wow. You know what's funny? We could just let this slideshow go the whole time and we could all just sit here and comment on all the pictures that we have. Mm. <laughs> this, Wait, is a, what? this is Shannon's, Shannon's um, puppy. Oh, look how cute that oh, yeah, puppy is. Not puppy that size. Is so hey, this good. is from a folder <laughs> yeah, with my funny pictures. And this is just all the stuff that's in my computer. That puppy stew is that. so good. The puppy stew. Look scallops. at that. The bacon wrapped scallops. Oh, dang, dude. See, that's completely. Steve, you could eat that. This is a dream for me. I get to kick back with my margarita and leave, take my hands off the computer. Look at that thing. Wow. Hey, so speaking of all this like reminiscing stuff, we're yeah. about to hit 100 soon. Yeah, we are. What are we going to do? I don't know, man. We can just run the slideshow and just say we have like 100 pictures to look through. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean. Hey, it's, so it is Chinese New Year's next year. Do we need to get some real Chinese people here, Lynn? <sighs> Whatever, dude. Was that a was that an insult? <laughs> Whatever. I'm doing just fine being Chinese. I mean, people. Hey, it's six eighteen. We've got Art Bavino to talk about. Oh, we yeah. do. I haven't even even gotten to Paula Dean yet. 
Oh, man. And I have so much to say about her. Paula, publicity stunts are oh, us. please. Dean? Why don't we start with her? With Art? No. With me? No, you, got, you and Art should talk no, about No, 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 no. I can't talk about Paula with Dean with Paula Art. Paula Dean. Let's start no, with no, Paula. No. I'll talk about why. Yeah, why? Because Art's better half I, works, works for, for the, the Food I Network. Guess. So I don't want to make him part of anything bad that yeah, I talk that about. Really so, I mean, I have Art. Should we make him wait or should we just... No, let's talk to Art. I'll talk about her after. Ready? I got a little cooking oh, yeah. to do. Look at him. <laughs> Look at it's Man Mountain Mike. Is he on? Art? Sam, can you hear me? Oh yeah, I got you, man. Oh. What's up, dog? How are you? I, I, I got the haircut, but I No I you the, didn't. Which, I did. I got a haircut, but off air you're telling me I look fat and No, okay, look. Haircut. Here's the deal. Before before the live cast starts. You know this uh, move? We test the connection. Listen, we test the connection with Art <laughs> Pavino. And while we were testing, we were chatting a little bit, and I said, the beard is getting so thick, it makes his face look chubby. Dude, you can really do that. You can run your hands. Oh. I don't have enough fucking hair in my head to do that. <laughs> Piece of shit. It's coming off in three weeks. Why? Yeah, do you want to know why? You're going to you're going to hate him even more when yeah, you hear why, the answer. Why? Why 3 weeks? Go ahead, tell us everything. I'm going to go down to South Beach to the Food and Wine Festival down there. It's going to be hot. You got to cut it off. But I'm <laughs> suffering here in the cold. It's cold. Oh, the baby doesn't want to go to the Food Network Food and Wine Festival in South Beach, Florida <laughs> with his beard on. <laughs> That's how bad his day gets, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. You know what? There's people here that are losing their houses, <laughs> losing their jobs, have medical issues, all kinds of shit, mental issues, and we're dealing, but you, my friend, can't go to this South Beach Wine and Food Festival with a beard. My heart breaks. Are, are you done? Because I have mental issues and I don't get paid very much. So. Oh, no. I know. Trust me. I know you have mental issues. I've spent time with you. <laughs> What's up, man? What are we talking about tonight? What are we talking about? Art I mean, Pavino, ladies and gentlemen, if it's the first time you're watching, Art is from the dailymeal.com. What go there, read his writings. He's way more intelli intelligent than I I'm ever could have hoped to have been. It's true. Yes. <laughs> so one of the big things that happened this week is that I got a promotion, Sam. You did? Oh. What are you? Nice. Yeah. I'm no longer in charge of the eat dine section here at the Daily Meal. I'm in charge of all the channels. Whoa. What does that wow. mean? Congrats, man. Yeah, I don't even know what that Thank means. You. But congrats. I mean, Wait, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm working with some other uh, higher level editors, but I'm not going to be just doing the uh, the stuff for eat dine. So you should look to see some of the content coming from me be across channels, probably. Wait a second. More importantly, does this mean you get more money? Sam, we can talk about this later. <laughs> fuck them fuck the man i'm here to help you oh let's dial them up get get your boss's voicemail right now and we'll leave a message sam i, I want to talk about the best barbecue that i've eaten in my entire wait, life wait, wait. so okay. we were talking about health food now and now we're going to transfer to the best no, that's barbecue okay you've ever that's had okay not everybody this, this is not a health food show we couldn't help sam's 188.6 you said 188.6 was that 188.6 yeah this morning I am 210. How tall Wait, how are you? tall are you? I've never been this fat in my entire life. How tall are you? <laughs> I'm 5'11. Or the same height. Wow. And I'm 30 pounds heavier. I feel so much better about myself. <laughs> so No, glad. you're really only 21 <laughs> and a half pounds heavier, but I feel so much better about myself right now. But if apparently I just shave my beard, I'll shave off about 10 pounds. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> It's exactly what you do. All right, let's talk about what we have to talk about. Let's talk about barbecue. I want to talk about barbecue. Yeah, go ahead. Where'd you have it? Right. So, Austin. Oh. Angela and I went down to Austin. We celebrated uh, Christmas and New Year's down there. And, you know, you when you talk about barbecue in Texas, obviously you always talk about Lockhart. And you talk about Kreitz barbecue with the sausages and the brisket there. And you talk about Blacks. And you talk about Chisholm Trail. And, you know, you talk about all these f major four places, but honestly, the best barbecue, we did all of those places in one day. The best barbecue right now in Texas 
that I've had out of the, the, the five places that I'm mentioning here is Franklin in Austin. Now, this is heresy for some to hear, but listen to me for a second. You wait for two and a half hours to get this barbecue. Wow. If you're not there by 9.15 in the morning, this is a Shake Shack-esque line, mind right, you. Right, right, You're going right, to be cut off. That's it. You're at 9.15... Well, basically, 9.35, 9.45, the last people that get online then are going to make it into this place. People will continue lining up for the next hour or so. Wow. The guy, they, the, a person comes outside, they count the people on the pounds of barbecue that people are going to order, and they cut it off. They cut it off, that's it. And they give the guy, the last guy online a sign that says, last dude online, and he gets a beer to tell everybody that comes after that, sorry, no more barbecue for you. Are really? you kidding? Wow. I'm serious. And this is Austin on a Thursday morning. Okay, wait a second. So the guy that's there at 9, we'll call it 940. You that gotta gets, get there at that 9 gets, 11, wait, 9 the, 10 to be the first person online. The guy that gets the sign and the beer is somewhere yep. around, he's showing up around 940? 945. There okay, what time is he getting his barbecue? Not until about 12, 31 o'clock. Oh. What the? Are you saying that guy stands there the whole time? Ridiculous. Yep. I thought so too. I was like, you know what? This a native Texan. Okay, dude, come on. Told Angie this. Get yourself to Franklin. Okay, don't complain. Wake up. Get a cup of coffee. Get. I'm sorry. Get a cup of coffee. G I T. Right, 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 right. Get you a cup of coffee. Get online. Stop your complaining. If you don't get there. You failed. <laughs> no, come on. That That's just retarded. Wait, I text. can't say retarded. <laughs> no, Can somebody give me another word, please? Get. Silly. Get yourself online with a cup Silly. of coffee. Get. That's fucked up. I wouldn't <laughs> wait. We waited I, in Vegas. We waited in Vegas for... Um, I know we did wait about two Louis, hours. Louisiana-style food for maybe... Hour well, we Hour? Maybe an hour and a half. Okay. But, but you're saying these people are waiting, what, two and a half... Three, Three and a half hours? I'd wait for this. Texans, I don't expect oh. Texans to wait on lines like this. Although you would say Texans, you know, oh. every, everything's bigger in Texas, so the line's bigger, so there you go. But, <laughs> but listen, I was skeptical. I was really skeptical. And the first day we went, we missed it. We got cut off. Wait, can we uh, didn't make it. Last yeah, go, back, go back to the, uh, the truck picture the and the line. people standing there. Yeah. Is that it? Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't see. You know I can't see. Yeah. We oh, that's right. We're seeing a... Uh, it's like, looks like, a, like an RV kind of thing, a fifth wheel and, and a white tent that people are waiting underneath. They've, they've now gone from, this started as a trailer, okay, like, a, like, a, like an Airstream, and it moved into an actual location. Now it's an actual place that you can go into and sit down. Oh, it is. But okay. I'm not, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I, you know, people talk in hype, terms of hyperbole. We went to, because we couldn't get into Franklin that morning, we went to all of the places in Lockhart that are thought of as the best places for brisket and sausage in 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 Texas. Okay, in but wait, wait, I got look, I got this question. Would people Huge in Texas and we don't have to keep looking at that picture cuz we've seen it a long fucking time oh, now. Sorry. Do we do would would pe when you rate Texas barbecue and what's happening with the screen? I don't know. <laughs> Why does the screen keep going wide and then small again? It's the expose. I'm not on touching Apple. Oh, it is. Sorry, you can't see it. It's just on our side. All right. And if you don't know me well enough by now, I like to point out every problem in this show. <laughs> Apparently, it's just a quirk that I have. I don't know why it keeps happening. Are you what? When you rate uh, Texas barbecue by, if you took ten polls, where does Franklin come in? Well, okay. In back in June or July, I think Bon Appetit named it as the best barbecue in the country. I hadn't heard this. I didn't see this. I missed it. You want to call me out on the floor for doing I'm missing I'm not calling it. you out on the floor. But you're saying I'm, you I'm, went to five I'm, places in one day, and it yeah. was the tops. I went to four places in one day and then went to Franklin the next day. I see. And it, and it wasn't even a contest. I mean, the brisket, if you want to talk about pure brisket, yeah. the brisket was so much better at Franklin that at any of those four places combined in Lockhart. Okay? Wow. wow. So I'm wow. serious. The All sausage right. well, that's price. Insane. The sausage at Kreitz, the jalapeno sausage at Kreitz, yeah. is, is better than the sausage at Franklin. But overall, the barbecue at Franklin is better than That's at any of those places. And the and the brisket, it's just here's an example, right? You know, you pick up part of the brisket yeah. and like it, it it falls apart, and you yeah. talk about melting in your mouth and all that. Yeah, yeah. 
cliche and everything, the fat itself that's attached to the meat comes off with the same piece of the meat. Wow. You know, the fat usually sticks to the rest of the fat or usually wow. sticks to the rest of the meat. It came off with that piece of meat. You and know, the smoke it, line was down like that far into the meat. It was not. It was just wet. It was okay. wet. Oh, it was wet? It was just, I, okay, look. Um, Steve and I are trying to be really good in what we eat these days. We don't want to hear about a wet smoke line and uh, fat coming off. And I don't want to hear about fat, period. Jeez, man. I'm just telling Wait, you. I, I do want to know, how do you define Texas barbecue compared to, like, you know, Louisiana Starbucks or any other kind of barbecue? No, there's the, you, it's you, the this sauce, is a, right? Sauce, you're going to get yourself in trouble here. This is sauces. You're right. going to talk about how the length of time. You're going to talk about the cuts of meat that are used in these different things. Yeah. You're going to talk about pork versus beef. Or, I mean, it gets very serious. And, and I don't pretend to be the foremost barbecue yeah. expert in the country. But you're saying means. this is the best that you've ever had. I'm saying that I world. went to four places in Lockhart, Texas yes. that are considered okay. to be the four, some of the four best places in all of Texas. Okay, that and this place amazing. in Austin was better than all four of those places. Yeah, that's incredible. Wow. And I had to wait two and a half friggin' hours to get <laughs> to the point where I could actually eat the friggin' at nine thing. in the morning. I, I would argue I, that that nine o'clock on a Thursday. I would argue that people that are waiting at that point. I mean, look at what time do they open? They they open at twelve, at 12 or twelve thirty or something. <laughs> okay, Shake Shack opens at what time? Oh boy. I mean, Shake Shack, I think, is open for lunch. They're, I think they're probably open around 11 o'clock. 11, 11, 30. So we were there at whatever. You came late that day. It's okay. Dad. I'm on time. doesn't matter. that <laughs> You got the beard and the scarf to put on and Did all I the heavy you guys clothing. The photos yet? Did you put the photos up? Of yes, Sam, yes, Sam yes. Posing? Okay, all right. So that, don't, don't, five minutes. don't detract from me talking about you being late <laughs> that day. How late was I? Five minutes? I don't know. Five? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm always on time. <laughs> doesn't matter. You're the point on. is that there was a line at Shake Shack for Amazing Burgers, you know, shortly after it opened. Right. Yeah. This place has got stupid lines that sell out three Mine hours is. before they open. Exactly. So there's two things going on here. One... It really is that amazing barbecue, or two, they're dumber in Texas than I thought they were. <laughs> no, it's no. actually it's actually that good. It's actually that good, all right? Well, Franklin, we need to go. Yep. Can you order from there? Will they ship it? Probably not. No. We have to do that one day. Have a bunch of shit shipped in. Yeah, we have <laughs> from, from, from places. That wanna, like, That's a good idea. Get some of this barbecue and ship it to us. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be interesting. <laughs> it was amazing. So that was that was the most that was that was a good way to end the year in terms of uh, eating some great food. It was good, and even though we're talking about it in the new year, it's a pleasure to be back with you, Arthur. <laughs> well, thank beard, you for having yeah. beard and all. You know what Party. I'm really looking Party. forward to? I'm cool. not looking forward to the beard coming off. I'm looking to forward to the reports from the uh, South Beach uh, Food <laughs> and Wine Festival. You want me to give you dirt? That's <laughs> all I want. I don't ask for that much, Arthur. Why don't you just Why don't you just vent to me and not ask me questions? Oh, yeah, How come on, no. I want it from you, my friend. <laughs> I want it from you. All right, you're the man. Thank you for being here. It's time to go home. Go home to the lovely Angela. What are you doing tonight for dinner? Oh, it's too late. Uh, She's eating. I, I think she she checked out a, a pretty amazing new Vietnamese uh, taco slash banh mi place oh. that opened in East Village. So there we go. Right. Thank you for mentioning carbs that yeah. Steve and I cannot have. <laughs> we really appreciate that. Our, one of our fans yeah. say you look like Wolverine, man. That's Wolverine. Awesome. I like that. You kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's exactly it, man. There it is. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Take your extra 21 and a half pounds and slip away gently into the night. Hard to do, but thank you so much, Sam. Good to see you guys. Good to see, see you. Right. See you, brother. Okay, Fat Joy. Yes, yeah, yeah, I exactly. understand. What that means. <laughs> exactly. Look, Zach is in the fridge behind me. He can't. He's starving. Look at he's doing that thing. You know what? Your mom's back. Kelly's supposed to be back, sitting here. We're expecting her any minute, and I don't really know if that's going to hey, happen. Hey, you want to give her a phone call? Should we try that? No. Wait. Hey. You can do it? Yeah. All right, let you do well, it. Well, give us a second. We're gonna, yeah, we'll get on the Let me make sure line. I have everything.
anything right. But... Give us, give it a second. We'll give her on the right. line. So while we're waiting for that, Fixtures Living, I'll be there Friday, this Friday. I have a class there, but I'm going early. I'm going to hang out. Fixtures Friday. Uh, uh, my mom winters in Palm Springs. There's mean? no way to say that and not have it sound <laughs> like, like a fucking mean? snot. I mean, she lives right? in she lives in Palm Springs in the winter. She she isn't. Yeah, she's from Canada, but she Which she is, winters. That's, that's time. Hello, excuse me, Buffy. Is your mother wintering in Palm Springs? <laughs> is she? Oh God. Why? Well, yes, she is. She'll be there with the. I don't. I can't think of any. Who's the, who are the really fancy wealthy people that live there? Max. Like the ham- oh. In Palm Springs. Yeah. Bob oh, Bob? I don't know. Oh, Those that huge property, the uh, I, I have know. no idea. My mother will be there. I'm thinking of going down and seeing my mother, <laughs> taking her to the the fixtures living in Rancho Mirage, which is just outside of Palm Springs. She can bring her friends, Buffy and Miffy. We'll look at. Wait, is she home? Oh, oh, here she is. Here she is. Check this out. Look at. While we were talking about her. Hi. There she is. Oh, Kelly's home. Let me just tell the story while Kelly greets the dogs. Oh. Kelly was in Palms. It was in Palm. Sorry, she wasn't in Palm Springs. She was in Phoenix with her mother. Kelly went to Phoenix with her mother, who was going to have laser spine surgery. I think we talked about this on Monday. Turns out... Her mother was no longer a candidate for it because where'd she go? I don't oh. know. She just came back here to say hi to me. She's no longer that a candidate nice. for it because her back doesn't hurt that much. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so happy to be Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> what is oh yeah? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, her. You're so cute. I hadn't shaved for four days and I shaved today because I knew you were coming back. Oh. Go get on that computer. Welcome home. Anyway, Kelly's mom goes. Pa- Are you insane from being with your mother for four days? I'm insane. She's insane. She she texted me today. Check this out. Everybody's alive. And I can say this because uh, where are you going? Oh, you're going to get your computer. I can say this today because I know that uh, your mom's not watching. Kelly sends me a mom that says um, a text. A text. Kelly sends me a text that says, about to blow. Breathe, Kelly. Breathe. <laughs> Were you at lunch? That was 1233. What Maybe. was going on? Maybe. I may have been at lunch. It's all a blur. Welcome back, Booch. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, nice to have you back. Anyway, I was saying, I was just, wait, I was just talking about Fixtures Living that... Uh, that I think I will go. We're going to go see my mom in Palm Springs. Sure. Sorry, Palm my Palm. mother in Palm <laughs> Springs. And we'll go to the fixtures living there. I don't mean to say that fixtures living is a special place just for the aristocrats. Because it's not. If, but look at it. It may as well be. Well, it looks like it is. It's right? so nice. But, Jeez. But, and I can say this as openly and honestly as possible. If you're, if you're redoing anything in your home. Kitchen, bath, outdoor. Go to Fixtures Living in San Diego, in Costa Mesa, in uh, Rancho Mirage, outside of Palm Springs. And just look. Even if you don't buy anything from them, you'll walk in and you'll go, holy shit. Yeah. This shit is crazy, and I need that idea, and I'll steal that idea, and I'm going to do that for sure. It's going to happen. And then you'll fall in love with them, and you'll hang out, and you'll see why they are what they are. Fixtures Living, born out of a guy... Out of one guy redoing his kitchen, and it went so bad, he said, there had to be a better way. And this is the story that came out of it. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. Yeah, It's a cool story. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. Hey, Jordan, give mom the headphones. Wow, look at that. How did you see that? I'm (laughs) watching you. (laughs) Mom needs headphones. It's a little freaky. Thank you. That's weird, right? So I have to cook. I have to talk about Paula Dean. I can do it while I'm over there. Hey. Can I just do it now? Yeah, go. So Monday we talked about the rumor that Paula Dean was going to talk about the fact that she had diabetes. Yes. Am I right? Uh-huh. So she came out with it yesterday. She has diabetes. Not a surprise. Lots of people. 
fact, 26 million Americans have diabetes. And Paula Dean is one of them. Mm-hmm. Okay, shh. What? It's about diabetes. Okay, keep it, keep <laughs> yeah, it on the deal. Okay. Don't interrupt me. <laughs> Jordan. It even made news. <laughs> so, so here she is with, uh, what's her name? Diane Sawyer. Diane, Diane Sawyer. Sawyer. No, it's the Diane Sawyer story, story about her. Queen of Southern She's Queen of Southern Anyway, so it talks, that's her ABC thing and talks about her, you know, coming out with the diabetes. And yes, I have diabetes. And it turns out that she's had it for three years. And she said, Really? She wanted to wait to tell the public about it uh, until. She had a way that she could help people. Yes. Like, what? <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Complete bullshit. <laughs> right. So uh, Paula Dean, queen of notoriously bad food, ridiculously unhealthy food, has had diabetes for three years, and she's now just talking about it. And now. She's being paid by a pharmaceutical company working on a diabetic drug to talk about it. No, for anybody wondering out there, that is absolutely not a coincidence. Is that effed up? It's not. a Yeah, like, I mean, it's not. Because look at with her audience, which is ridiculously huge. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't the day she was diagnosed with diabetes. Di- diabetes 2, I think. Type 2, yeah. Type 2 diabetes. Should she not then have said, look, y'all, I found <laughs> out today from my doctor, y'all, that I've type 2 diabetes. I'm going to make some changes in my diet, and I'm going to help y'all that might have it too to follow along with me. <laughs> but wait. Would that not have been the way to handle this? That would mean that all of her, like, Normal cooking would go out the door and things like that, right? I heard her say that she really spends time talking about eating all this fat, unhealthy, high calorie, high fat, high sugar food. She talks about eating it in moderation. I've never heard her say, now y'all know when you have this big piece of sugar pie with maple syrup and butter in it, Mm-hmm. Just have a little piece because that's what y'all should do. I've never heard that. Yeah. The way to handle it would be to come out there. Like, I'm not holding myself up as a saint. But when we found out that we got fucked terribly by the contractor who took our money, that day and the two days after that, we hit every newspaper radio station and TV station we could to tell people what we had instantly learned. And that that thing they say that if you can only help one person, you've done your job, seemed like a trite little throwaway line. Those days it seemed to be true. If Paula Dean came out, she could have been helping people for three years on how to eat properly. Yeah. And she hasn't. Yeah. You know but what? she's making money now. And she said, Al Roker said to her on the Today Show, and you're being compensated for this. And she said to Al Roker, yes, Al, but like you're compensated for your work. No, no, this is fucking extra work. That is such bullshit. This is extra. This is not right. She's, She's not done this the right way. No. She's not done this. And now Bobby, her little tit suckling son <laughs> who's got a show that's making her recipes but healthier they're holding that up as the reason that she's held out all these years oh brother what it's ridiculous it's ridiculous check this anthony bourdain who back in august called her the worst most dangerous person to america yeah said yesterday when you've been cheerfully selling this stuff, knowing all along that you got type two diabetes, it's in bad taste, if nothing else. She knew all along. Right. It's like me selling cocaine on TV, saying this is wonderful, have a great time with it. And then I realize how dangerous it is, but I don't tell anybody for three fucking years. Come on, that's not right. Uh, yeah. 
Until a deal is lined Until up. Until a deal is lined up. <laughs> Essentially. Yeah. Right? That's a pharmaceutical company deal. And nobody trusts them anyway. Do we know the company? No, we don't. They've not said she that. She hasn't yet. announced it. Okay. She's going to make out. what? Who? Well, she's going to make a bank from that. And now today, for the first time, I heard y'all. Part of it is being donated back. Donate fucking all of it. Jeez. Did she need? The, does she need the money? No. I'm going to guess she doesn't. Right. No. Well, with as many it? shows and appearances and shit that she does. Give me a break. No, but the thing that's crazy is that she will probably make more money from that pharmaceutical endorsement than she does from the Food Network. But y'all, she's going to give some of it back. Let her buy more butter that she can yeah. spread on her face or whatever <laughs> she does with it. Hey, it's no problem, people. If you want to be a fat ass, you can just take these drugs and it'll be all right. I wonder if that pharmaceutical company might pull out because they're seeing the backlash. I place. watched her on that, that show, The Chew. Yeah. Right. He was on it today, I think. With Ant, with uh, Mario Batali and Michael Simon, who I really like. Yeah. And Michael Simon was standing there with his arm around her, like she was a victim. Oh no. And she was saying, "Y'all, diabetes doesn't have to be a death sentence. It doesn't. You just y'all need to change some of your diet." Three years now, you haven't said that. Jeez. Oh, I am so mad. Sorry, I'm like so it. mad over this. Yeah, it's, yeah. Jesus. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Sam Law, so don't hide your diabetes. Don't hide your diabetes. <laughs> I still so have... many other people would have done so much better work with diabetes. Zach and I watched The Exorcist last night. The original Exorcist. He'd oh, never geez. seen it. That's how you prepare for finals? No, that was after he prepared for finals. <laughs> No, no, no. He, Both of you busted. He had already... I told you not to talk about it. <laughs> anyway, in the end of the movie, the final moments of the movie, the priest who's been conducting most... Part of the exorcism before the other priest dies, the younger priest. He's, he's, he's hitting Reagan because he's really just hitting the devil. And he says, give it to me. I will take it. Come to me. And the disease, and the uh, devil goes into him, and then he throws himself out the window and kills himself. Where are you going with this? Sorry, <laughs> I'm, my point is, so many other people would have been better recipients of type two diabetes than her. Now think about this. I mean, this is serious. What if people were under the impression for the last three years that there was nothing, no negative consequences associated with eating like Paula Dean? It's completely irresponsible behavior. People could have, people could have literally developed di type 2 diabetes over the last three years under the impression that it was okay to eat like that. <laughs> I, I'd like to see examples of her telling people to eat in moderation. I'd like yeah. to see that. No, you're right. That's like, that's... There's, there's none of that. That's, yeah. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad at the whole thing. Oh. I'm so mad at the whole thing. It's just, it's just completely irresponsible and ridiculous hey bourdain was right she bourdain is was fucking right. dangerous <laughs> she is the most worst dangerous person to america yeah <laughs> and blake chimes in right and what, you know what what did, he, and, and, what did he mean by that originally was it the he the meant content? that he right. was talking completely about the food <laughs> yeah i'm wolford brimley i have diabetes <laughs> and paula d is <laughs> <laughs> right right i got back just in time uh, uh he meant that and then people have been saying, oh, they see him on his show drinking and getting hammered and stuff like that. And yes, he, he does that. But he's not espousing that as the way you should be. Right. That's not his way you should live your life. That's just his particular show. Oh. <laughs> I still can't get over that picture of... If I don't cook uh, now, we're never going to yeah. cook. How about I'm him sorry. with his finger? Okay, yeah. that's Which, a fi too which finger? The picture of Bobby Dean with the... With his finger in his mom's no, mouth. No. Oh, God. So disgusting. I know. Are that's a disturbing me? picture. It's, it's so disturbing. It's, like it's so dis The whole relationship thing is disturbing. Yeah. Especially now what's happening. I think you I won't watch her. Too. I won't watch her. I'm sorry if I went on too long about this. But no. Let's cook. I'm going to cook something. Hey, y'all. I'm going to cook something healthy. That's got no butter in it, no cream in it, no natural sugar. Well, maybe natural sugar. No, <laughs> no added sugar in it. 
I'm not going to have my son stick his fingers in my mouth. I won't breastfeed none of my overgrown adult children. I'm just going to cook something that y'all can eat and not develop diabetes with. Oh, what a fucking surprise. Let's go to the kitchen and cook something, y'all. All right, so here's the deal. I'm heating the uh, grill. Oh, wait, both sides of the grill. Oh, God, did I not do this? Hey, you oh. hate it when you put Boom. your face there. My face is not that close. When it boosts out, it is. We're heating the grill, and watch this. I've not seen my wife since Sunday, so I'm going to make her a cocktail. Mm -hmm. Aww. Hope you don't want a lot of ice. There was a light, a, a nice mishap earlier. Lynn looks nice tonight, doesn't he? Pardon? Lynn looks awfully nice tonight. He does. He's in slaps. Lynn, Lynn must have been um, interviewing for another job today. <laughs> Were you, Lynn? He's in real big boy clothes. I think so. Uh oh, I'm out of uh, this. Sorry. Okay, so here's what we're gonna make. We're gonna make a grilled. Sort of a grilled uh, chicken wrap. You know I'm using uh, chicken breasts because, why? Because, because we've already talked about the fact that the, uh, the thighs are fattier. And we don't want to do that. Hey, you want to see something funny? Yeah. Keith says that he heard Paula Dean is coming out with a line of hospital beds and coffins for the obese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Can somebody take this to mom? All right, so check this out. Here's my chicken. And you know what? I feel like I've said this before. I do not understand why chicken is so expensive. Because it's really expensive. Am I the only one that's uh, feeling it this, like this? Here's what we're doing. Watch this. I'm going to take a plain chicken breast, just one, and throw it in this Ziploc bag. Have we done this? I'm having like chicken, I'm having chicken deja vu here. We haven't done it on the live cast? I don't know. Someone that I've never heard from on the live cast writes, this show is better than going to the bar. <laughs> it is, <laughs> yeah, huh? I know. Oh, tonight was... Okay, so check it out. If I haven't done it here, I apologize. And if I have done it, I apologize. I'm reiterating myself. But check this out. Here's a chicken breast in a Ziploc bag. And it's puffy here and it's not puffy here. And you throw this on your barbecue or in a pan or in your George Foreman, it's not going to cook evenly because it's not even. So I'm going to make it even by, by flattening it in this Ziploc bag with this uh, bottle of olive oil. You could use any, if you had one of those meat pounders, uh, you could use it. You could use it. Anything you want. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Does that tenderize the meat and make it better? No. Okay. Uh, it's not like a steak or something. Okay, because I've heard... Oh, oh okay. Because I was going to say that must be a common misconception, but if no, it does it, tenderize it's the steak... Actually, no, it's not, a, it's not a misconception if you're talking about meat. If you're talking about just this, then um, a chicken, it's not going to tenderize it at all. Okay. All it's going to do is it's going to help you cook this thing evenly. Get out of there, you piece of shit. Oh my god, why are you so angry? I'm not angry. It's fucking Paula Dean is pissed me <laughs> off, man. Obviously, you're yelling at chickens. <laughs> well, I didn't mean it in a mean way. It's so here's what I do with chicken. I don't do a lot. It doesn't need a lot. I'm going to do this. I'm going to give it some olive oil. But you notice that it's completely flat, right? Yeah. It's all nicely even, right? Some, some salt. Some pepper. Make sure I spread the olive oil here. Nice. Over. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Mm -hmm. 
I think people think that you need like all these crazy spices, but all you really need is kosher salt, good cracked pepper, and some yeah. good olive so oil. Yeah, so here's the deal. Max and Jordan, my two oldest kids, moved out last week. I gave them the pepper grinder because they need, because the shake pepper is, honestly, is no bueno. You don't, this is so much better. Fresh ground pepper makes things taste very differently. So I'm gonna have to just cook this. I'm gonna, I guess I could do this one too. Hey, uh, Nancy yeah. Laporte says that her kids can learn all the kinds of colorful words from Sam. Oh, I'm sorry, Nancy. I mean. <laughs> and look at that cute one in her, oh, he's so look, cute. Look, we do say this is a uncut, uncensored show. And sometimes they get carried away. And clearly tonight I got a little bit carried away. I got annoyed by this whole thing. All right, so watch. So this is just gonna go face down and I'm only gonna do this right here on the flat griddle. Ready? That's it, right there. I could do it in a pan, I could do it on a barbecue, I could do it in a George Foreman, I could do it almost anywhere, but I'm doing it right there. Okay, now you're gonna see what else is gonna happen here. Oh wait, I need this top part hot. All right, uh, a couple things out here, Steven. Oh no, hope I didn't forget something. This, red pepper, wait, nobody move. Damn it, sorry, sorry to those kids. Where's my, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Some feta, some roasted red, jarred roasted red peppers. And I believe we've talked about these guys. If you're not using those, you need to be because they go into so many things. They take a sandwich from every day to amazing. And that sounds like a commercial, <laughs> I hate to say. Sam. Yes? Mark Griffin wants to know if you need to wash the tongs after flipping the chicken the second time. No, they're gonna be fine here because um, they've just touched them. You know what, I, here's the thing, I've never, I've never done that. If I was mixing a spoon with ground chicken to make little chicken meatballs, I wouldn't use that spoon after the fact. But a I feel like they chicken. You never had a chicken meatball? No, it just sounded like you said chicken meatball. Chicken meatball. Chicken the meatball. <laughs> um, but but this no, I don't feel like I need to do it. I feel like they've touched so little. I'm okay. And I do this all the time, and I've never gotten anybody in the family sick. In fact, I'm fortunate. I shouldn't, I'm never going to say it. I don't want to jinx myself. I'm knocking on wood back here. <laughs> no, no, no. But look at, see what's going on here? You can look down here, and you can see the color that's going on, right? Most of this is cooking. How, look at, that's nice. All right, so there's two other things, a couple things we have to do. Back up there, Steven. We need a little salad. Oh, I assume you got everything out of the fridge. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, he <laughs> needed like 10 trips. That's really cute. I like your style. So we need the stuff that's going to be the other part of the wrap in this. And part of it's going to be... Whoa. Is this just some straight romaine? Right? Just bag romaine. You could totally buy... Um, You could totally buy um, a whole head of it and uh, deal with it yourself, cut it up. This was just easier for me at that moment. We're gonna put some uh, cucumber in. And I prefer these uh, English cucumbers, what are they called, Kel? English cucumbers. English cucumbers, because look. <laughs> because there's nothing, you don't have to cut, there's, there's no bad in this. And I just like little small pieces. And the outside, this part, you can eat, it's delicious, no big deal. So it's been peeled? You don't, I never peel these things. No, but previously it was peeled? No, this? Yeah, no. No, they just come like that. Oh, okay. That's they're, what, sorry, that's what I mean. Before you bought it, it was peeled and then packaged. No, not peeled. Oh, okay. it has all it looks, the green on. It looks like it's like a little thinner, uh, yes, thinner than normal. And yes, and there it's a lighter skinned cucumber for sure. Okay. I'm gonna flip this. 
That's why you don't need to peel it back. Remember, okay. look at the hallmark of the live cast is that we cook live, right? So the chicken about halfway done. I'm gonna flip it. I'm just gonna give it the weight. I love that weight. Let the weight do its thing on there. I'm gonna throw a little Ooh. tomato in here. Sorry, Lucky. I step it up. Oh. Steve hates Lucky. Sorry, I keep stepping <laughs> on Lucky. I don't mean to. No, Steve has a love affair with Haley that <laughs> sadly does not transcend over to Lucky. And Sandy, He's warming up to me. On an upcoming live cast, yeah. someone asked, Dave actually wants you to have a mini class on how to use a knife properly. Oh, I totally will. And how to chop carefully. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. That's a, that's a good idea. Okay, so look what we've got. We've got only, I've only got tomato, cucumber, and uh, what is that? And, uh, and uh, um, yeah. The romaine in that, right? Romaine. Okay, so I need to make a, a little dressing. So here's what my dressing's gonna be. Why did I open the fridge? <laughs> Doesn't really need to be anything in there. Doesn't even need to be that. It needs to be a little olive oil. A little uh, vinegar to give it a little, uh, you know, a little tang. What kind of vinegar is that? I'm using red wine vinegar. Got it. I'm going to use a little pepper. I mean, I'm kind of making a salad dressing for this. A little bit of salt. Salt helps everything. We know that. Salt used the right way doesn't make food salty. It just heightens all of the other natural flavors that are in it. And because we're making kind of a Mediterranean-ish sort of thing, I'm going to grab some oregano and put a little bit of this in here. <laughs> so great. I'm so excited for this. Uh, you should be. I love a good fresh sandwich like this. Oh no, you're going to do Or this. a wrap in this case. All right, so look at This is all you need to do. At this point, you don't really need to be doing much else. You want to taste to make sure you dig what's going on. Mm-hmm. 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 If you like red pepper flakes, now would be the time to add just a little bit of it. I mean, too much and you'll be sorry. But it just adds like another little uh, level of flavor in this whole thing, right? Chicken's almost ready. And you know that the chicken's ready when you do this. Come over here, Steve. Check this out. It's looking good on both sides, but if you cut it right here, and you look inside, what do you got? You got white all the way through, right? Yep. Yeah. So we're there. So my chicken, I'll now take, get right here for a second. I'm going to cut it up here. I got the feta ready to go. I got the roasted red peppers jarred all ready to go. I need to heat one of these things. Wheat. Whole roll. wheat, baby. Whole wheat. Thing. Whole wheat wrap. Nice. Oh my God. You know how good this is going to be, and it's not going to take very long. Let me just get the pieces of this ready. Let me talk about Donovan's. One of our loved sponsors, beloved sponsors, Kelly did not go, didn't get a chance to go. Her we mother right. ran her freaking ragged. What did you say? There's not a store in the city of Phoenix that your mother didn't go into. That we didn't <laughs> trudge through. Her trudge mother through. is a professional shopper, capital P. Yeah, yeah, she is. Oh, feta is so good. See, I don't know if you can have the feta. Mm -mm. Mm. It's really good. All right, so. In a nonstick pan, I know when people cook tortillas for all kinds of Mexican inspired food, they put oil in the pan first or they oil the tortilla. Don't do that. Unlike Paula Dean that likes to add fat, I don't want to add fat unless I have to. And I like the fat to come from the food. In this case, we're not gonna add anything to this. We're gonna let the tortilla warm up 
on a non-stick surface all by itself. And you should do that all the time. Wait, maybe we should just fatten you up so that we can then get a diabetes contract. Oh my God, <laughs> you're a genius, man. Okay, check this chicken. Watch this. Oh, it looks beautiful. Do you know how good and juicy this is gonna yeah. be going inside this thing? Let me just do that to make it easy for myself. Okay, here's the tortilla. I don't want to get it too hot, so watch. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take some of the salad with the cucumber and the tomato and put it right down in here, sort of as a little bed, right? I'm going to take ah, some of this chicken, spread it out right here. Quick question while you're putting that together. Of course. John Erickson says he loves all except the feta. So any replacements you could suggest? And oh, I know you, you put, hate you the placement. No, you could totally put, you could use, you know, Monterey Jack. Okay. You could use uh, Parmesan if you wanted. You'd be fine. But I would not leave out the roasted red pepper pieces because I think that they add just a really nice, beautiful little kick in this whole thing that you'd be sorry if you forgot about. And now we take the feta and I apologize for all the mess here tonight, but Kelly's home and I'm real excited. <laughs> it's nice to see her. Look how, look how beautiful that is, right? Oh, see, that's my favorite. I actually had that for lunch. That exactly and I was going to fold this like burrito style properly, but I'm not going to go to, I'm not going to do yeah. that. I'm just going to hold it. I'm going to cut. That thing is going to look beautiful. Yeah. Check that out. I love oh. the green and the red and the white chicken. Look at that. Do you know what's in this that's bad for you? Nothing. Mm. Nothing. Y'all going to just eat on this and you're going to love it so much you're going to want to stick your fingers in your mama's mouth when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it sounds so crunchy and good. I can't um, stand it. Come have this half. Come right I here. I love that. Seriously, I if you looked up the word fresh in the dictionary, this would be there looking at you. Picture yeah. this. Mm -hmm. All right. Love you guys for being here. Next week, oh, we're not even there yet. Tomorrow night is something else. I don't even know what yet. <laughs> Next week, Chinese New Year week. Lynn, bone up on your Mandarin or Cantonese, brother. We're going to have some real Chinese people here to put you to shame. Is it the bunny, the what? Dragon. Oh. oh, that's huge. Zaki. You're the dragon? Yeah. Your new game. Your dragon game. Zach's got a new game he's playing on. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Thanks for being here. Love you guys. Remember, you don't have to get type 2 diabetes like Paula Dean. You can eat intelligently and still have ridiculous amounts of flavor in it. And no fat. See you guys tomorrow night.